Hi guys, it's DJI update time. So there's a new firmware update for the air unit and the goggles, which apparently gives you some amazing um, viewing. So it ups the actual bit rate to 50, I believe, which is double what it is at the moment because it's on 25. I've heard it's really good. So let's get these updated and see what it does. Sit there, let's do this. Got the computer set up and what we're going to do first we're going to update the DJI Air unit. So we're going to get a battery, plug it in and then we're going to connect the actual computer. So do remember take your props off before you do this, it's quite a long update I believe. Plugged in, there you go, you have a computer recognize it. I've got DJI Assistant open, and there we go, it comes up, FPV Air Unit. Click on that, and it will tell us what's available. Uh, a new firmware available, strongly recommend we update, so yep, confirm. There we go, 100% done. Update complete. Brilliant, that didn't take that long actually. So back and this DJI Assistant program actually shows you what you're on. You're on the current one and you can also downgrade. I really do actually quite like this system. So if you're having problems or you don't like it, you can downgrade, but brilliant. There we go. We're on the latest for the air unit. We're gonna unplug that and do the goggles. There we have the goggles connected and it's a simple click again to recognize and we'll probably have to download a separate firmware again. And it'll just run through the same process. So for the update to work, you need to update all of your devices. So the goggles and the air unit, as the update will not work. There we go, update complete, 100% complete. So that's the goggles updated and the air unit. So we're in business. So I'm gonna disconnect these and I'm gonna go out into the field and we're actually gonna see what this is like right now. So stay there.
there you go guys hope you enjoyed that i tried to sort of flick between what the um the 25 and the 50 so you could hopefully sort of see what the difference is when you're flying it it's so pin sharp to be honest with you it's it's really is it's quite stunning i i do prefer flying the low latency rather than the high quality the high quality for some reason it's just it's just almost too much i think it's too much information trying to get into the goggles and it the blur almost looked a little bit wrong so i do prefer the low latency setting but it is absolutely unbelievable it's really good so if you get the opportunity or you're thinking about doing the dji hd system i would definitely recommend it it is it is very good i mean i've flown analog and i've got fat sharks but the dji system and being able to put the actual analog system into it with the digi adapter it's perfect so you get the best of everything definitely recommend it hope you enjoyed that hit the subscribe hit the bell hit that thumbs up thanks a lot guys